So some of you may have noticed in my most recent videos, I look a little bit different and it's because I've lost a total of 30 pounds. Yes, 30 pounds. And it was so important for me to begin this weight loss journey assessing some of the underlying issues that may have contributed to my weight gain in the first place. I was going through a lot of transitions and there were a lot of there was a lot of turbulence and uncertainty at that time. I was very uncomfortable and dealing with a lot. And I took the time to unload any emotional baggage because many of the times we subconsciously put on the pounds because we internalize and suppress many of our emotions which is detrimental to our health and you know it has an adverse effect on you know maintaining and leading a healthier lifestyle for me it wasn't just about losing the weight but understanding that the way that i was living did not contribute to a healthier lifestyle if you do not know, I was in a physical altercation with my mother and she kicked me out. Yes. And for a little over a year, I slept on a couch. And as you can imagine, that was very challenging for me to deal with and sort of wrap my head around. And I has I was also I was also going through a breakup with someone that I had been with for 5 years. And it's so easy to lose control and, and lose sight of yourself. And when life seems to be super challenging and difficult, sometimes we don't understand the meaning and it's very hard for us to understand the lesson. I used this whole entire year for, you know, losing weight to really just reevaluate where I am and where I want to be because I was not the best version of myself. So in March of 2014, I decided I was going to take a look in the mirror. Sports bra and shorts. I took a picture of myself face on, head on, and I also took a picture on my profile. And I'm gonna be honest, I did not like what I saw. The person that I had become was unhappy. Yes, I loved myself, but I was unhappy and it began to reflect in my physical appearance. I did not like who I was becoming because my emotions and my ability to stay on top of you know, my decision making, I was just losing control. And my eating habits were crazy and my activity was not where it should have been. So for me, the most obvious was to get active, get active, start moving, stop taking the escalator or the elevator, take the stairs. Those small steps make all the difference. I started walking more. I even started running. And if you believe that running is too harsh on the body, walk. 30 minutes of walking a day helps you clear your mind. It helps you to decompress and de-stress and put things into perspective. Weight loss is all mental. And if you can strengthen your mental capacity and just how you think and how you process things, that is how you start to implement change. Change your mindset, change your thinking. That's how you change your energy. And so I had to train myself that physical activity helps me to promote a better mentality. It trains my mind. It encourages me when, when I don't really want to work out. It's that willpower that I need. I need it to be mental. And also, it's about understanding that getting active is also an outlet. It is a way for you to deal. It's okay to deal with what you are going through. Take a walk for 30 minutes. And once you come back from your walk, do something that you enjoy. Don't look at exercising and being active as a chore. That's not how you begin to see results. Being active is a way to explore and express a healthier version of yourself. And 
when I would come back from running or walking, you know what I would do? I would write, I would blog, I would make YouTube videos discussing things that were going on in my life. I was now beginning to unload and confront my issues head on. I was going through a lot and I needed to address it. And my weight loss was not going to kick in to play and action until I began addressing everything that had happened the previous year.